You have the options of physically choking somebody. You can open up the guard by standing up. There's different ways. What works for you and what's gonna work for you is just a matter of trial and error. What I'm gonna do is just show you two different options. I'm not gonna go through the whole detail of everything. We're just gonna go from there, okay? One of the ways that we can control a person so that they can't make a lot of problems with their arms is we can control what they're doing with their arms by putting our thumbs into the armpit and controlling distance here. If we want to relax and we don't want to have to fight with their grips or do anything, we can kind of start off in this position here, okay? If you can notice now, I have Brian's arms controlled, so if Brian tries to grab me, I should be able to kind of control. Okay, although he will be able to grab, I'm still kind of pretty much maintaining control here, okay? All right, okay, one of the objectives for Brian to do, because we're not gonna go over this at this time, is for him to get his my hands off the armpits and to try to get an arm drag. Once he gets an arm drag, then he can start to climb out to the back and do other things, okay? There's a lot of different attacks. You can attack an arm bar, you can do a lot of different things. My personal preference is I used to do an arm drag and try to come around the back for a back take. Right? That was always pretty easy for me. So that's what I did in my position. Hey, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go over one of the basic situations here. So you're gonna go from this position here, you're gonna bring the two geese in together and hold the geese in a nice tight posture here, okay? What you're gonna do is with your thumb, this is gonna be up on top, and your elbow is gonna be right here on the inside of the thigh. Normally you're gonna grab this sleeve here, okay? Being that you have this hand controlled when you stand up, you're not gonna stand up with the free arm. You're gonna stand in the direction of the arm that you're grabbing, okay? You're gonna stand up, so of course you're gonna Okay, we're gonna go here. You're gonna go from this position here. Grab, get good, good grip here, pinning this here. And now, we're gonna stand and stand. Here you can lift the person, or if not, you can kind of keep them this way. This is a really hard position for him to keep for a long time, because pretty much all of his weight is around these two little angles here, okay? So you can wiggle, you can shake and push down. Eventually what he's gonna do is he's gonna open up. First option is he's usually gonna put a De La Hiva guard on you, okay? He's gonna go collar sleeve or collar pants, okay? Just depending on what option he gives you is what pass we're gonna get. So let's start off with this particular opening, okay? Controlling the biceps. We're gonna put the gi together, okay, holding it here, thumb up, elbow into the thigh here, grabbing the other arm, okay? We're gonna stand, I have his right arm, so I'm gonna stand to that side first. Stand so he can't grab, and then stand up here. Only things that you have to worry about is he's able to do a muscle, okay? If he lets his legs go and tries to do a muscle, you need to just get situated real quick, okay? You're always gonna have that availability. Anytime that you open up a closed guard, you're gonna have that option of them being able to sweep you. So here, here, and here. Stand, stand, and right. We're gonna do that for a couple minutes. Right, three, two, one. Okay, so we catch the person at a quarter turn, right? So we're gonna go, you're gonna go seatbelt, right? Okay, once you go seatbelt, you step over, you grab, I mean, considering you already have your zip tie, you're gonna grab, when you, you're gonna chair sit, you're just not gonna flop, you're not gonna flop like this and pull the person on top of you. What you're gonna do is go seatbelt, zip tie, Cross-collar choke, you can start with this choke here, you can do it with a wrist right here, you can do the half wing until you feel more comfortable. You're gonna step, grab, and chair sit. As you chair sit, you're gonna kick the leg. Okay? So when you swing, it's not like this. That doesn't work. Okay? Here, 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 you can do a cross collar, half wing, 
step, grab, chair sit, kick over the shoulder, and put pressure. Got it? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Chair sit. Awesome. Yeah.